It's a popular game for kids. Even some adults like the challenge. I know I do. You put money in a machine and try to grab a stuffed animal with a robotic claw. Now the game has changed all because of three folks in Omaha. Justin joins us live with this story. Brilliant. I think this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and this yeah. young lady right here is so competitive. I am. I, I once got two stuffed animals in one claw grab. Okay, so let me ask you this. Whoa, what, that's that's got to be a record. What, awesome. what do you do with the stuffed animals? I just want to know. What do you do with the stuffed animal well, after you Well, when I was younger, I would keep them for a little bit. And then, you're right, just end up like throwing them away because they right. would collect dust. And So it's just the competition and that's it. Did you win those last week? Is that when you no. won them? <laughs> it was a while ago. Yeah. Well, <laughs> apparently I'm not alone in asking yourself, what do you do with these stuffed animals after you won? Now you can claw your way to a cold beer. It's a quick, cheap way to quench a thirst. You just have to be good at the game. Ah, the brew bucket. Ryan Schwartz has helped change the classic game a fetch. As far as the game in general, it's simple, it's classic. Again, everybody kind of is familiar with how to play it. So with the basics already there, Ryan, along with his wife, Laura, and friend JR, started to think. So we just kind of started talking about different ideas of what would be a little more fun than the usual stuffed animal. Laura was about to grab onto an idea, clearly outside the box. And I just said, what if we did beer? So the what ifs turned into reality. The three worked on a prototype and found a company in New Jersey to give them a hand in having it built. The game is pretty much the same. You put a buck or two in and work your magic, trying to pick up one of the 38 bottles. Everyone's competitive to a certain degree, whether they want to admit it or not. Um, and this brings out the best in people, I think. Three in a row. The three are a little surprised. No one has latched on to this idea already. After all, the game has been around for decades. In so many inventions I, I see and I'm like, gosh, why didn't we think of that? Only this time they did think it, held on, and got their prize. So many great ideas never come to life because people just aren't willing to take that leap of faith. And we just said, you know, if we failed, at least we had fun. And at the very least, we'd each have a brew bucket in our basement. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what kind of beer is that? Yeah. I know right. our floor director, Matt, just was yeah. like, what kind what of beer that? is that? <laughs> so here's how it works. You get basically that metal bottle, and you would take it up to the bar in exchange for a beer. So it's not actual beer that they're throwing out there for you. Which probably right. legally makes sense, too, right. because, because you can't just be handing a, out beer. Or right. Whatever. A kid can play that game. Right. So the machine that you just saw in that piece, we shot this today, it was sent to Amsterdam today. The semi came and picked it up <laughs> right after we got done shooting. So if you want more information on the uh, brew bucket, you can log on to our website at kmtv.com and we have all the information on there. Okay, she made it look easy and I know it was also yeah. edited, but is it that easy? Well, it depends on how you have the machine set. You can have it really hard or you can have it easy depending. Okay. So don't be sad, Jen. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that your setting was hard when you won those two stuffed animals. I'm sure if you've played any game with Jen, you know she's out for I'm blood. I'm a little competitive. Just, just, a, just smidge. a smidge. I was going to say, Justin, if you're going to do a follow-up, here's some quarters. Yeah. Right. There you go. Have some quarters. There's your beer money. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be 97 on Friday, so give it, awesome. give it a try. Thanks, Jim. Yeah.